Hi everyone, this is Dimitri Pragmatic with MarketChameleon.com. I wanted to share another seasonality tool with you. And over here, I first popped up a QQQ seasonality uh, table here as an example. And this is for a given calendar month. So we could see where QQQ had seasonal strengths and seasonal weaknesses for any particular calendar month. And we see how the stock tended to perform in that one particular month. But sometimes you may want to look beyond just a particular month and give and look at a custom date ranges so for perhaps if you're tra trading an option or looking at a short-term strategy you want to set between this date and th th between one date a start date and between a different end date how did qqq perform um, in that situation and for that we have a different tool here and you could go up here to stocks and price action analytics and let's just put up qqq here as an example and i'm going to change this um, to seasonality now we see that there's a start date that pops up and an end date it automatically pops up um, the start date for the current date but you could change that to any date you want and then set an end date so for perhaps you're looking for a certain expiration and you want to see uh, between that start date and end date how did QQQ perform in you know in this case in the last 12 years and let's run the analytics here and then we get um, here a chart how it performed between those dates from 2007 to 2018 so we could spot any trends or any patterns and over here we have statistics summary statistics here uh, 75 percent of the time uh, that the stock has been up between these dates the average return has been 1.64 percent the median return 0.44 percent this is the average up move and the average down move when you take when you take these stats into consideration this is the largest up move and largest down move to give you that range and here you kind of have the average of the returns and how they progressed through throughout that time period so you could kind of see where where it was at its highest peak and lowest peak um, and then down here you have more summary statistics here to help you out make that um, make that seasonality analysis and see statistically how the stock performed during that given during a given period uh, within a year. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.